Hello, everyone, and welcome to Singing in Place with Opera Grand Rapids. I, my name is Skylar Sheltraum, and I am delighted to be able to bring some music to you all in your homes um, and to be a part of the Opera Grand Rapids community. Uh, I started with Opera Grand Rapids in 2018. I was a chorister in the Magic Flute, and since then, I've just caught the bug. I take advantage of as many opportunities with OGR as I can. Um, and it's so wonderful to be a part of such a supportive community and such a supportive company. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about my song choices and where I got the inspiration for all of these pieces. Um, really, since since we're doing this in such an intimate setting, I thought it really called for intimate pieces, which is why I chose more art song than opera. Um, opera is built around a story with playing a character, so you're typically wearing costumes with a big orchestra, so there is the potential there for a big disconnect. But with these pieces, I chose more art song. An art song is typically per, uh, performed in a recital setting, much like this, you know, one person, one piano typically, and all you have is the person who's singing. So that really lends itself to a very personable experience. And not only that, you all are seeing my home. Um, I'm actually in my home studio right now, and the pieces are going to be performed from my living room. So I thought, since it's such an intimate setting already and then on top of that you're getting to see everything that I am I had to I thought it would be perfect if I just gave you a little glimpse into my experience um, being at home since the stay at home order and the range of emotions that one can go through and, and I'm sure that many of you have been dealing with going through this um, for me I was dealing with questioning the possibilities of what's going to happen, um, being really sad, uh, but then also finding uh, a reconnection with nature and appreciating being able to just take a walk outside. And, um, and not only that, uh, being so close to the people that you normally live with, um, finding Re and recreating that cre uh, that connection with them. Um, I appreciate my husband now more than ever. And I think that if anything, this quarantine was going to highlight that. So I'm thankful that it went in that direction. I'm very, um, I feel very grateful to be quarantined with someone that now I feel closer to. Um, so I hope that this is something that allows you all to feel what you're feeling in this. And um and maybe gives you a little bit of a distraction, but also something that you can listen to later if you're feeling unsure. Um, I have sung a lot of these songs many times. Some of them I have never sung before, and I, I didn't. I don't think there was any other way I could have done them other than this. So I'm so excited for you to all uh, to listen, listen in, to tune in, and. Um, Sit back on your on your couch and stay home. Make sure you're washing your hands and uh, really taking care of yourselves. Making sure you're wearing your face masks and doing all the things that we need to do so that we can be together again, hopefully sooner than later. So with all that said, please enjoy. Sit from the mind. 
Thank you all so much for tuning in to this episode of Singing in Place by Opera Grand Rapids. Um, it's been such a joy to put this together and such a little therapy session. Um, I do have one little extra um, piece that I'd like to share with you all. This is Lovin' You, originally sung by Minnie Ripperton. And I really love this song because I can sing it with my voice. It's a pop song, but... Um, but it does lend itself, you'll find, to the operatic technique. And um, and before we close out, too, I just wanted to thank Robert Byrons for lending his talents, making uh, piano recordings. Uh, my goodness, it makes such a difference to be able to put this together with his wonderful artistry, although we both agree that we would rather be in person. But um, although he wasn't able to join us on the recording, he is definitely there in spirit and through his artistry. So thank you so much, Robert, for lending your talents to that. So um, I'll just close out by saying thank you for listening and enjoy this little sidestep out of cla the classical realm and into pop music with Love and You by Minnie Ripperton. <laughs>